July 11, 2024, seven month panel of Supreme Court justices less led by Justice Gaba Lawal, delivered a landmark ruling granting the 774 local government areas in Nigeria full financial autonomy across the Federation. To many activists and observers, especially those clamoring for year for this autonomy, the Supreme Court ruling was considered the final word on the issue and the end of a long drawn battle. We at this table also celebrated the ruling. Unfortunately, it appears this celebration might be short-lived. Just a few weeks ago, Governor Soludo of Anambra State signed into law the Alambra Local Government Law 2024. That law had several sections that contradicted the Supreme Court ruling. For instance, Section 13.1 mandates the establishment of a state joint local government account, which will hold the federal allocations to LGS. Section 13.2 gives the state government authority to distribute these funds. Section 14.3 stipulates that each local government area must remit a percentage of the allocation to this account within two working days. While Section 14.4 states that if the state receives the local government allocation, it must deduct the specified percentage before disbursing the remaining funds. According to Governor Soludo, Section 7 of the Nigerian Constitution empowers state governments to enact laws for the administration of LGAs and that granting absolute autonomy to the 774 local government is an impossibility, a recipe for humongous chaos, he said. In other words, he's telling the Supreme Court justices that his interpretation of the Constitution is superior to theirs. I see several problems with this. The Supreme Court never granted LGAs absolute autonomy. What they ruled on was the financial autonomy of LGA. Governor Soludo was only being clever by half. Two, there's a risk that other states will follow the example of Anambra and enact similar laws. And three, Governor Soludo had succeeded in rolling back the gains of the Supreme Court decision, at least for Anambra state. Before this East wind political destruction eviscerates the long fought reprieve for local government areas. I believe the Attorney General of the Federation should immediately challenge this law at the Supreme Court and have it struck down. The financial autonomy of local government areas must be protected and preserved. Mm -hmm.